Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Remember to subscribe if you like what you see. This is the Fire Emblem 12. Pick my units run, and let's get into it. So first things first, we recruit God himself this chapter. Now, we got a new sub, a lot of new subs. And for that Doga video, and just so all the new people know, this is a Mathis channel. Once you subscribe, you're legally obligated to vote for Mathis in uh, Choose Your Love Legends 5. All right. So before we get him, because it's going to take a while, we have Dark Mage Warren now with the Thunder and with his two magic. We're deploying Lin because this map has a lot of Draco Knights and I want to get as much mileage out of the aura before I'm forced to stop using it because, well, I guess uh, this one might be able to use aura eventually, but it's uh, B rank, so it's unlikely. Wait. Yeah, okay, so everyone can use it. Uh, so that will be neat eventually for Cecil. And yeah. And Marth, I'm just going to give him the Rainbow Potion again. So he will destroy Cavaliers like he did last time. And I don't think anyone else needs it since uh, Luke naturally doubles the uh, Wyvern Riders we need him to fight. So let's just use that. And that's good. Yep. And save. And let's get into it. Oh, wait. How's everyone? wants this finders keepers used potion don't know what that does lind got exp all right oh marth got exp that's cool speed and res mm, today's a great day for hunting oh and warren speed and res that doesn't really matter too much oh well let's go oh massalon oh macedonia all right we have pola now so let's go do polar things with her, like kill this thief, because we need to kill that thief so we can get the thief in this village. Which we can then use to recruit God. And you know what? I like the sound of that. First things first, let's have Aaron pull some of these losers down. I guess I can have Marth take one on. Have all of our, and then have all of our numerous archers. Pick up on that, uh, Ryan is temporarily stealing Gordon's niche since Gordon is dead, but you know, he will be benched after this chapter probably, because next chapter we get Riz, Riz the Armor Knight. Alright. Here they come, okay. Oh no. Oh. Aaron is free, so I can just stop using him whenever I want to. So, yeah. Okay, still going for Aaron and not Mars of the Stars, though. I guess it's the Lucky Triangle. Alright. Wait, what? Oh, okay. I forgot. If you lure down those Draco Knights, then these guys start moving. And these guys are the ones with the, uh... The little, uh... Little, uh... Devices. Yeah, the, uh... The, those things. But do we really need Paula, I guess, is the question. Well, she could be good until we get all of our units, because... Then after this, we get Riz, Mathis, and Ubello, so I would like to keep Paul around for the chapters. She's available in... What's your matchup chart? Oh, shoot, you almost won around these suckers. 15, 15... 84. The thing is, they're, like, really accurate on her. But, shit, you don't know what could happen. They could just miss. You never know. So let's try it until we're absolutely forced to reset. All right. Yeah, that's uh, that's uh, kind of annoying. But oh well, let's just deal with these clowns. Yeah, the group AI of Fire Emblem Twelve. All right, get out. Get out. Get looped. Get freaking looped. Oh my god. You just got looped. Oh my god. That's all. Yeah, I think we're gonna have a hard time getting this duty XP, but shit, let's try. Okay, so Marth, how much do you do? Okay, war and kill, awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Marth doubles this guy with the potion, so that's nice. All right, another growth level up. All right, cool stuff. Sadly, you're gonna have to reset after Paula dies. Thunder. Thunder. All right, nice. 
that's pretty good. And then get one for Roderick. Oh shoot. Dimadar. Dimading, Dimadar, Dimadu. Dimadar. Alright. Ryan, do chip. Oh, you bitch. Uh, does Roderick get doubled? Nope, not anymore. So I could just have Lind use the Nosferatu. Nosferatu. Nice, 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 nice. None of this is gonna matter since Paula's gonna die. Alright, cool. Sad. Sad. Alright. And then heal up Aaron and see how that Paula thing goes. You never know. We could get lucky. Oh, come on. You're going to make me reset after that. That's not cool, bro. So, Aerial Spate. Oh, no. This is going to be a tragedy. Come on. Get dodges. Get dodges. Get dodges. Get dodges. Get dodges. Come on. Come on. Dodge all three of these in a row. Okay, ladies and gents. We'll be right back this time with the not poor decision that that was. Alright, fellas, and we are uh, back, and yeah, instead of lowering out the Dracos, uh, since we can't, since Paula will immediately uh, perish, we're going to do not that. We're going to run away with Paula, right? And we're going to get Marth and friends over to fight those Dracos as soon as possible. Now, a lot of people complain about this map, and they should, because it's crappy, but I feel like so many problems would be solved if there was just a safe point in front of Board's house. Because, like, the main thing is, right, it's so long, and you don't get a safe point until, like, literally, like, right here. So, I think you shouldn't have a second save point in front of the boss, since, like, by the time you're here, you're pretty much done with the map. I think there should have been a save point right in front of Board's house. So that way, if you reset, you don't have to do all the tedious beginning walking over again. But that's my two cents. I would improve the map by a bit since they're doing save states anyway. Yep. Whatever, it'll all be worth it in the end once we get God himself. Vote for him and choose your Legends 5. Come on, you know you want him in Fire Emblem Heroes. You know you do. Don't lie to yourself. Don't lie to yourself. Come on now. Alright. Here comes McGillis. Whatever. He sucks. Now, there are a lot of cav reinforcements on this chapter that I think will be good for getting Mars the Stars and some of our other units some experience points. Ryan still being level 1 like a champ. And since we have three archers, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. Plus, we are about to make a new friend real soon. Unfortunately, the problem with this chapter is there just isn't a lot of combat until you get to these left Draco Knights right here. Sure, Paula kills her thief and has her little side quest going on, but other than that, Martha's just kind of walking. Wants the opposite of Christopher walking. Christopher O'Neill. <laughs> oh, that's one of the best jokes from Team 4 Star, TFS, Dragon Ball Z Bridge. Did any of you ever seen that? Alright, and now next turn, Paula can just safely cross this bridge. And we can just have chill times, you know, chill beats to relax, dash, kill calves too, while Marth gains experience and level ups. Uh, now you see, since you are, like, heavily encouraged to maybe, uh, fight all those cavaliers before you maybe, uh, before you maybe, uh, fight those Draco Knights, that's another reason why it's better to have a safe point right here, because, like, I don't know, because, like, you're not going to want to fight the Cavs and the freaking Draco Knights at the same time. That'd just be really stupid of you to do. Impractical, really. And, like, there's a lot of these guys. They just, they, and they don't stop coming and they don't stop coming. Bend to the rules and I hit the ground running. Luckily, Marth has leveled quite nice, so it doesn't really matter. You can face tank a few of them at least. And now we have Board who I usually don't like, because look at that speed. Look at that speed. <laughs> he gets, I'm pretty sure everything on this map just kills him straight up. But we're going to reclass him to a pirate, which will give him more speed. Uh, Luke has an axe, he can give him a steel axe. If he 
he wants extra damage, but yeah, it's just, um, this guy's real annoying to use sometimes. But we have to, because it's a pick my units run, so haha. Alright, Paula, you make your great escape. Hope that guy doesn't decide moving is a good choice he should make in life. Otherwise, I'm kinda fucked and I have to play this part again. Yeah, these Draco Knights are really oppressive in freaking Arcanea with their 10 movements, kinda redonkulous. Yeah, as I said, or I didn't say, oh yep, that's not good. Oh no. Okay, 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 okay. Do, will the rest of them move? The calves are moving? Okay. 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 Now. Oh god damn. But I don't get how you're supposed to have Paula escape then, that's weird. Uh, we can probably... Okay, so where are they coming from? Right here, okay, so they're moving in like a triangle pattern. They're having their little, uh, triangle attack. That don't bother me. That don't bother me. Alright, so... The safest bet would be to have Aaron deal with these guys and then retreat. Have him do that. You could probably do it with the Iron Lance. The problem is the crit chance. So yeah, I don't want to overextend Aaron. So maybe just have Chris take it on. Yeah, so have so maybe move. Okay, so I want Aaron over here to distract enemy Draco Knights. Paul over here, I'll pop a voluntary on her so I don't have to waste time healing if I want her to have another round of combat. Alright, and then Mars of the Stars. Okay. Then heal up Lind, I guess. Healing up Lind sounds like a plan. Fortunately, that broke my heal. And this guy can just go over here since he's bad at the moment. He's bad at the moment, unfortunately. Unfortunately, as I said, Cord will... I mean, Bored. Oh, I am Bored, not Cord. Uh, will not be doing much of anything. Alright. Alright, going for Chris. Doesn't really matter. Did more than half my health, though. Ouch. However, this does give us our first Master Seal. Which we will probably use on Luke. Alright, so how many more turns do we have before the Draco Knights decide that we are no longer worthy of being alive? So they're coming... Their 10 spaces are so, so, so oppressive. So here's the thing, um... Shoot. This guy can reach us. So if we go on the offensive in the Cavalier front, we're done. Because they all have lances and Marth is... Not really equipped to handle something like that. This is why the initial part of this map is really annoying. Would have rather dealt with the cows before I dealt with these guys, but we can definitely have Paula bait at least one of them with her final voluntary. Alright, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay. So I think right now a temporary retreat is best. So I'll have Paula with the Silver Lance right here. Okay, have Chris move down. Get healed. I'm thinking Marth can definitely tank two of these guys at least. So ten. And then ten, yeah. So I'll have him do that with the Almighty Rapier. Okay. Uh, Luke can reach anyone over there. Equip Rapier. Nice. Let's see. Have Aaron just retreat for now. Okay. Have Roderick right there. Bored, you will do nothing, so just go away. Oh no. Wait, how are you getting here? Whatever, you have 
Maybe it'd be best for you to have an Osferod to equip. Honestly, um, maybe, I mean, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know, this is kind of annoying now. If only I had learned how to count. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely cannot attack any of those Cavaliers. None of them. But none of them can attack Paula, so that's nice. And only one of them can attack Lind. And let's see, speed 8, speed 8. So we will be fine. We'll be fine this turn, that's the conclusion. Okay, yeah, go for Lind, that's fine, I don't really care. Oh shoot. That did a lot of damage. Okay, now Marth will kill this one. Because Marth is good. He's a good boy. He'll level up. Awesome. Okay. Level up. Get defense. That helped for doing the calves. You did not get defense. Okay, Marth. Paula will take on one of these guys. Almost a one round, but not quite. But that's a war and kill, I guess. That is a war and kill. Okay. This is getting intense. This is getting intense. Okay, and they're coming. Okay, good, 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 good. They're all in range of at least one thing. Because sometimes the annoying thing is these guys will just stay in the middle of the ocean. Like one time I had a guy fly like right here when I was doing Lunatic. And like I just couldn't hit him with anyone. So it's good that they're all, that, that they all decided to be in range. All right, so let's get our Warren killed. Nice. Get Warren, loser. Alright. Nice. <laughs> that was a full ass level. Uh. Not good, to be frank, but whatever. Alright. Cord. I mean, board. Oh, yeah, I'm bored. Not cord. God. I really can't have Bored safely attack anyone, so I guess I won't have him attack anyone. Alright. Next thing's next. Uh, Luke, uh, make this guy meet his fate. Por favor. And this is why I rigged the shit out of him. Well, not rigged, I didn't like abuse RNG, I just reset until he got good level ups. I don't know if that is rigging RNG. I don't know what rigging RNG is, but I don't know. So that'll be enough to finish off with Warren. Okay, hopefully. I mean, no, I mean, uh, Roderick. Stop getting good level ups, I'm not using you. Alright. And Roderick kill. Okay, 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 okay. Now we're in business. Now, now we're in business. Aw, oh, you son of a bitch. Okay. He is slowly but surely becoming fast, so that's nice at least. So, okay, so this guy, okay, this guy has a pretty good chance of critting board. I think since we've come so far, we just w won't start boarding until next chapter. We'll save the boarding until next chapter. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I'll just hit him with the much more accurate Chris. Huh, that's unfortunate. I just, I'll start boarding, okay, I'll start boarding once I get to a safe point. All right, and now how do I want to block off these Cavaliers? Hmm, I could have Paula deal with this one, heal Marth, and then Marth blocks the bridge and still takes two. Because my heal, hmm, it won't get Marth full, but he takes 10 from each of these guys. So I, yeah, so, okay, yeah, yeah, I know what I want to do, yeah. Marth blocks the bridge, yup. Mm -hmm. So first have Paula deal with this clown. Right? Luckily she has just enough HP to survive, so that's convenient. But if she didn't, we could have just Auron with Lin first. So let's get this Paula kill, yup. And then heal up Marth. Okay. 
kill this guy with Mark. He'll do 10, and then the next guy will also do 10. Actually, this... Okay, so that's also a plane tile. Wait, that's also a plane tile? Oh, shit. Oh... Uh... Okay, get killed. Oh no, I thought I would be blocking off the bridge this way. Oh, um, shit. Anyone got voluntaries? Uh, hmm. Maybe if I absolutely need Paula for future maps, I would reset, but she's probably gonna get benched soon anyway. I don't really know what I'm doing here, because we have Warren now. Would I even be able to deploy her? She is good for this chapter. Alright. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. Okay, so... <sighs> Lind isn't at full health, and, like, that would definitely do her in. And board can't reach either. Okay, that really sucks. Shit. I guess we don't need Paula though, but I would rather keep her. I want... I feel like Lind, for the short time we have her, will be more useful since we're gonna aura the boss. Since that's the easiest way of dealing with him. But I guess with saves coming, I could kill him anyway with board's hammer and Paula double stuff yeah let's just put Lind in range and see if he goes for him yeah yeah I'll do that I really thought Marth would choke that bridge but oh well alright Lind go 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 dodge nope okay Ah, Princess Nina, no, okay. Oh, there's still another one coming? Jesus. Alright, well, at least we're done with that for now. Those fellas, those brood busters, and now we can get a kill for anyone we want. Uh, Roderick, you just do chip damage. For fun. To get your level up. Dude, really? Come on. Alright. Uh, maybe get some EXP for board, I guess. Steel bow. Alright. Thunder. Thunder. And then hit him with Ryan to get enough chip for board. Alright. Alright. And now, board, you do that. Kill. Nice. Alright, so first board kill. Pretty cool, pretty cool. Alright. Yeah, having Paula be alive just makes more sense in the long run for me. But, it's not like it'll even matter anyway, because we get General freaking Riz next chapter, and he's gonna kill a deployment slot. So that'll be fun. Alright. Oh, you got a crit. Marth. Mars of the Stars. I wanted that to feed that cap to someone else, but whatever. Alright. Now we got some healing to do. Now we got some healing to do. We just have to deal with this wave of Dracos, hopefully. Let's see. Silver Axe. So I'll just have Marth deal with that one. Actually, before I waste heal staves, maybe I should just use Fallen Aries. Uh, yeah, I have a couple. Take this. And I'll take one. Alright. Yeah. Let's just do that first. And then maybe I'll just heal up Chris. Alright. Ooh, magic level up. Oh, very good, very good, very nice, very nice. Feel like 
Man, Cecil, I mean, um, Daros and that other guy that you Bella are gonna be really annoying. I think I'll just bring them along, never use them, and then bench them once we get back, because, like, they're just gonna get doubled and killed by everything. It's just not gonna be even worth pain in the ass to train them. Oh, accidentally switched screens there. Alright. So now, eat one more Volinary. Maybe give him one more heal so he's at full. And then start doing the testing you have to do with this chapter to see if everything lines up. Because they only... It shows their range, but they only start moving after you're past a certain point. It's really annoying. But... Whatever, that's this chapter, I guess. This very fun chapter in this very fun video game. Alright. So, I'm not too concerned about these guys, so I guess I'll just send Marth up one. Have Paul behind him. Move up all my fellas, my archers, my archer boys. Alright, have Chris go up. Warren, let's see you. Are they going to move? Nope. Okay. Attack 24, defense 9. I have triangle advantage. As long as Marth is only in range of 2, I should be fine, I think. So he has a lot of defense, and he has a lot of HP. Oh, I'm kind of good with the direction this is going in. Would Paula be in range of two if I put her right there? Alright. No, she'd still only be in range of the one. And I'm hoping the Silver X guy just goes for Paula. Alright, you get out of here, so Roderick has more space to move. And let's go. You see, this is why you need a save point for like right here since it's so much trial and error. Alright, luckily went for Paula like I wanted. Oh, you missed one? That's... whatever. Okay. Steel Sword for Mars. Mars gets a crit. Awesome. Okay, now those assholes are coming. That triggered their offensive AI. Oh, DS Minos. Okay. Oh, Luke, you're one out of range. That's so bad. That's so bad. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. That's so bad. Now these guys are going to come next turn. This is... Yeah, this chapter's not very good. For playing game purposes. Alright. God, their, their ranges are so offensive. Alright. Definitely don't want Marth fighting that guy. Can Roderick just kill this guy? No. Whatever. I'll get Luke. The fact that these guys also moved, and this guy moved, but this guy's just staying put for some reason, that is fucking annoying. Alright. One, two, three, four. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Damn. And I don't even think he moved his full thing. Like, he purposely stayed out of range like an asshole. Alright. I don't want to trigger this guy as well as the thing. Like, it's just, this is a terrible situation to be in. But I guess I have to persevere with Luke. I mean, right? Luke has to kill this guy. Okay, nice crit. Alright, nice level up. Well, okay, that wasn't even a nice level up. I said it before I knew. Okay, this guy will kill Paula. So let's see, 19. Okay, so I can just Volinary up, I guess. The problem is Marth cannot. Hmm. But Marth is still only in range of one of them, so that's fine, I guess. Alright, so let's Volinary up. So let's see, we don't want him one-shotting anybody, like 20 attack, speed. So Warren actually does have 8 speed right now, so and 5 defense, so he would not get one shot. The problem is one luck, so he has high crit chance. 
I can leave Roderick exposed. If I put Ryan right here. And then equip my silver. Board absolutely needs to go away. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you go right here. And then I have Warren go right here. And then that's the turn. That's what I can do this turn. Okay, yep. Going for Warren. But he doesn't double. Alright, nice Warren EXP. Okay, these guys are actually moving really close. That's super good. That is super good. I can kill them all this turn if I try hard enough. Alright, so Iron Bow this guy. Don't miss. Okay, awesome. Okay, so what is... Let's derange these guys. Shoot, so if I have Marth attack, he'll be in range. But maybe I can cover him with Ryan. But then Ryan will get shit on. But then I guess I don't really even need archers after this chapter. Because then the Draco Knights are over. Well, no, there are Draco Knights on... That hammer and part of the map. Hmm. And, uh, chapter 5. I guess it would be more accurate to say I get a brief reprieve from Draco Knights. Alright, so what happens if I do this? So that's 14 times 2. And then Warren does 5. Yeah, so that's good. So don't miss. Do not miss. Uh, axe, steel lance, steel lance. Alright. The problem is, I can't really have a sword unit fight this guy, so it has to be Paula. So I guess it will be Paula. Alright, let's go. Don't miss. Alright, he missed me, so that's actually really good. Paula level up, not that it matters, alright. Now we have Warren. Do exact damage, Daiku commented War Warren, I hope you're happy. He's been providing a lot of useful utility this chapter. He's actually been useful on like three occasions. And he gets another level up. And it's terrible. Awesome. Alright, and now... And now, and now, and now... This guy has no crit on me, so that's actually awesome, so that means I can set up the kill for Rhodey. Which means I can steal bow this one, and then have Marth maybe get the finishing kill, I don't know. 77% chance to hit though, that's not good. How much does Marth even do? 12. So yeah, that, will, that would be enough. It would. For Prince Mars of the Stars, so let's hope this steal bow hits. Please? Yes. Okay, good. Now, Mar, Mars of the Stars. You hit with your Steel Sword. Alright. Uh, another. That level up's actually perfect. Okay, Marth's getting really good. And now, the good thing is, he doesn't even need a growth drop to double enemies. Um. I mean, ramp push because they have 10 speed. This one has like just a steel lance and also 10 speed. So at the rate I've leveled up Marth, he should be good for the next significant part of the game. And that and this guy will probably attack Luke anyway, but Luke takes it. All right. How did Roderick end up getting more freaking lance rank? I mean, bow rank than my actual guy I'm training. All right, and this just sets up a kill for Roderick. Okay, so we got past the most intense part of the chapter with only Lind getting killed. So that's cool. Alright. We're done for the most part. We just gotta get Mathis now. Which I will do with Extreme Prejudice. Well, we do have to kill one more Draco Knight. Alright, come get me, sucker. Oh, shit. Not moving? What? Are you a pussy? Oh, uh, let's just move Marth closer, I guess. I don't know. Like, hello. Hello, senor. I am right here. 
It's not accidentally getting ranked into the list. Uh, actually, no, that's not even a factor. Uh, hello? Okay, here's... Well... Okay, I will be able to cross them out safely, so that doesn't matter. Alright, ladies and gents, we're good for the most part now. So what I will do is I will do my usual thing when something like this happens where I do, do, do a lot of walking. I will just kawashitai, and we'll be right back. Alright everyone, and we are back. We moved everyone over to this side of the map and got Julian, and now all that's left to do is to, uh, get what we need before we can continue. Now, unfortunately, these calves have that annoying group AI I was talking about earlier with those reverends, so you do have to put somebody in range of the ballista and a bunch of them before they start moving in. You do, you do get a save point right there, so there is room for trial and error. So first, I think I'll try Mars of the Stars. And then, you know, do a tactical retreat with him. So let's see, I think it was this tree right here. Equip Rapier for maximum cavalier killing action, and let's watch. Yep, do your crappy ballista thing. Boom. Here they come. Alright. Here they come. Nine damage. I'll just suffer set and tell the ballista Mrs. Marth if this is unwinnable. Yep. Oh! Nice. Weapon level up. Nice. Mathis. Alright, Mathis. Awesome. Thank you for sparing Marth. You're only doing zero damage because you're uh, saving your strength. Yeah. Awesome. Alright. Now we just lure Mathis up out of the Lista range, because Marth is a good boy and dodged. Alright. Mathis holding back his true power until we recruit him. What a gentleman. Ah. 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 Mathis, you're so cool. Will you please join our army? Oh, it's you, Julian. Sure, yeah, I guess I'll join your army since I'm so powerful. And that's the recruitment conversation. Alright. Now we just gotta have Mathis go kick that little ballista shitlet's ass. Alright. No, Mathis, please don't kill me. No, no, no. Alright. Ah. Right. 10 EXP. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Actually, I should probably save Scumbat so Mathis gets maximum level up action. Don't you think, ladies and gents? Alright, so I'll save that on the turn it is. Time to kill. That ballista right there. Alright, alright. Math is showing us how it's done. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. First, Mathis level up of the run. Soon. Coming to you soon. Coming to you soon. Yes. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Yes. Okay. This is how we're doing it. This is how we are doing it. Alright. 40 EXP. Alright. Math is just toying with his enemy. Because, you know, Math is, is trying to spare him, giving him a chance to run. But this enemy, too loyal to his country to flee. Truly a tragic tale. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Alright. Couple more hits. Couple more hits. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. I'm telling you, bro. This is your last chance to run away. This is your last chance. No! Oh, come on. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. Ah. Whatever. I'll just buy him all the speed wings next chapter anyway. 
don't matter to me at all. I should probably heal up Mar. Alright, so how are we going to tackle this here boss battle situation? Our only magic user only has 8 attack, and he has 3 res, so he's only going to be doing 5 damage, so we'll have to use a uh, board. So I guess we'll save Scub for board instead. Let's go. Let's pop off. Or I could use Marth's Rapier to do a significant chunk. Uh, Mathis, my man, how much damage you do? Sucks. Alright, we got any Steel Lances in the convoy. Retrieve. Store my Silver Lance. No Steel Lances, that is not epic. But you have a Steel Lance. Oh ho ho. Oh ho 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 ho, I see. Alright. I see how it is. I see how it is. <laughs> Alright, get Marth back over there. Long episode, but it's a long map. Get Chris down. Or down. Probably don't need Luke anymore, but I'll move Roderick down in case that Riven flies down and I want to level him up. Okay. Okay, ladies and gents. It is about to be epic time up in here. Once we get Marth and Co down there, then I'll save. We do get, we did get a Master Seal. We can't promote, but I want to get as much out of Luke's uh, easy EXP gain as I can before we he starts only getting trickle EXP. I feel like that's the best way to go about doing it in this game, where the enemy stats eventually get ridiculous. So we'll hold off on promotion on him for now. I feel like Roderick would be a good early promote though, because then he would get the 5 plus speed from being a sniper, and I feel like that'd just be good since he's starting off so slow, you know? Alright. Now let's see. Now let's see. Steel Lance, okay. How much damage are you doing? One damage. Okay, we can do this. Let's save and start whacking at the boss. Well, I'll wait till next turn so everyone can move. Alright, nice. Save the game. Right here. Oh, you tell him, Marth. You tell him. I feel like my Dark Mage should be down here. Ugh, damn. What do I have to fight Mathis? Okay, so that's no good, obviously. So we're, we're doing that again. We're doing that again. Once more, but this time with feeling. Okay, now... Now we just need to do... Ooh, cool level up mark. Iron Sword, okay, Mar Mars of the Stars, ladies and gents, Mars of the Stars, let's go. Okay, now this is gaming. Go get him, Tiger. Okay, that's fake, that didn't happen. Okay, I'm gonna Kawash tie this down until I get what I want, be back. All right, ladies and gents, and we are back. And Mathis gained speed like the champ he is. And he got the Tara Shard for us, which gives him plus one strength and plus one defense. So Mathis, ah, 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 can you feel the energy, ladies and gents? All right, I'm going to have Chris visit that armory now. Well, no, where is Rody? Rody's right here, okay. 
because I think that'll make the Wyvern move, and then I can just get one last uh, fuck you kill with Roderick before we seize. In actuality, uh, undoing the Lair of Mathis uh, appreciation we have on this channel, I feel like Mathis is the unit that got screwed over the most by the changes this game had, because in FE12 there's no prologue for you to power level like your Avatar and Luke and like Roger potentially. So by the time you get to Mathis in regular Fire Emblem 3, like Mystery of the Emblem, he's pretty much as good as your other calves, if not better because of his high weapon level. Like I'm doing an Iron I did an Iron Man for FE3, where I trained Luke and Luke specifically. And by the time I got to Mathis, Mathis had everything at least better or equal. Like, Mathis had way better weapon level, except for maybe speed. But in this game, like, he just looks bad in comparison. Because you have, like, your avatar and Marth, who just got leveled up a ton. But Mathis didn't get the same treatment. Like, if Mathis was in the prologue and you got to level him up, then yeah. Like, you know, he might be as good as Luke is right now. And that applies to a lot of characters in this game. Like, Lind, I'm pretty sure, can double stuff with Aura at base in FE3, but because... They have to make the enemy stronger because they made your unit stronger. A lot of the units they didn't think of just get lost in the transaction. Uh, it's really annoying sometimes. Like, uh, I don't even know if I like this game more than I like FE3 because, like, it does a lot of things right. Like, it has way better difficulty. But then, you just have a lot of annoying stuff. Like, I don't know. Alright, so hopefully that triggers that to happen. Let's go. Okay, here they come. Alright. Okay. Now, let's one for Rody. Roderick. Don't crit. Since I'm not using you long term. Nice. Okay, now we can just get it with Brody. And let's go. Alright, get a good one for Papa. Uh, wish he were getting more strength, but his speed is... His speed is slowly getting up there. The thing is, he's already level 8. And has like 9 speed. Meanwhile, this guy over here has 14. So even if he got every level up possible with speed, he still wouldn't catch up to Luke if I just stopped using Luke for some reason. So that's the Roderick, that's the Roderick story. And like, Jesus, Marth is becoming a monster. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, let's seize. Now that I've talked about my issues with FE12. Alright. Sir, the Rebels have fled. Alright, now we get... Riz, I'm pretty sure. Yep. Alright. And next time, ladies and gentlemen, we'll get our first Armor Knight. Yay! Remember to subscribe if you like what you see, and bye bye <laughs>